Now I'm about to give you guys a big little secret of mine in 2K20, okay? The bailout badge. Most guys looked at this badge and they absolutely just scoffed at it. They did not care. They're like, oh, I ain't wasting a single badge point in that one. That is a waste. You can throw passes out anywhere. It doesn't make a difference. I'm about to show you guys one really special thing that so many guards just overlooked. It's a basic part of basketball and, and so many guards just overlooked this and it, it was, it was kind of crazy to me that no one uses it. You guys got to realize every single time you go into a shot animation and I abuse this all the time. Every single time you go into a shot animation, you can be versing the most comp centers in the world. They will instantly, in the back of their head, they will instantly think, that man's going up for a shot. I got to start sagging off a little bit to get the rebound. I have tried and done this against so many comp players and it never fails to succeed. Now that moment right there is where this becomes the most overpowered badge in the game. This is not something to joke about because I'm telling you, get into a shot animation, 99.9% .9 of the time, the opposition team center is gonna sag off a little bit, just a little bit to start getting a position for that rebound. And all of a sudden you do a bailout pass to your center and he shoots a quick release shot. It's a bucket every time. I'm telling you guys this from experience, I have killed the most comp teams around with this over and over again. Bailout on Hall of Fame. I'm about to show you guys something very special that a lot of people just overlooked and didn't understand about this badge. Let's get into it right now. Let's do this, y'all. Now, what I want you guys to do on all of these plays is have a look at the center guarding Z. Look at how he sags when I get into the step back jumper animation. This is what I'm going to try and get clear to you guys throughout this whole video, okay? That is my goal for this video. I need to make this clear. Watch this. I'm going looking for my shot. I'm going for it. I get into my animation and the center on Z starts sagging off because I entered my jump shot animation. Look carefully as I get into the step back animation, the center guarding Z starts sagging for the rebound. Now, look at that. He starts sagging, but I throw a bailout Hall of Fame pass to Z for the easy shot. Now, when I'm playing as a shot critter, I always have to think about where opposition are going to go, where they're going to move, because I predict their movement and I deceive players. That's how I like to score. And I've known for a very long time throughout my whole time of playing 2k that whenever you get into a shot animation the opposing team center is always gonna start sagging for the rebound it's just the thing they do look watch him sag as i go for that deep ass shot that will never even go in okay he knows that he has to go for the rebound and his it's instinct for him he's like okay I need to go for the rebound right now. And even if he tries to stop himself from doing it, it is so instinctual in his mind that the center is just going to start <laughs> dropping for the rebound. <laughs> it's a magical thing that so many players just didn't understand. And it's it's like I'm revealing the secret right now, y'all. Now, if you guys are new to my channel and only started watching me in 2K20, oh you might not realize God. that most of my game is based off deception. I deceive opponents, I play mind games with them through the whole twos game, okay? I try and trick them, they don't know where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do next. I always try and change it up if you play, so it's not obvious. But this year is so predicated on this overpowered behind the back. I can't show off as much creativity as I used to probably. Like honestly, this year, the behind the back is so crazy, you just have to use it so much. But hey, what I want to teach y'all today is bail out, get into a shot animation, the center will drop down for the rebound and your shooting <laughs> center can go off. All Easy my guys out there, if you didn't realize this, I hope this helps you get so many buckets. Now, obviously, when I was playing with Chico, this was a lot harder to do because Chico wasn't the most consistent shooter. He was still learning how to shoot with whatever jump shots he wanted to use and all that. But since Z is lights out, you cannot ever go for the rebound when I'm going into a shot animation or you were just going to get wrecked by Z on the outside. That's all I'm saying. Like, all I'm saying is, look, I go into a shot animation and you better not sag for that rebound like that guy just stood in the middle there for the rebound. You can't do that because Z's going to hit. <laughs> That's really not even the same his fault because what's he gonna do he has to go in and get the rebound if i miss that layup but he also has to guard z outside so that is where this badge just becomes insanely freakishly overpowered because they don't know if i'm gonna shoot my fade away shoot my step back jump or whatever and oh they don't know if i'm gonna pass that out to z so it just becomes super deadly and now that i have a consistent shooter and z by my side this just becomes the deadliest show on the 2v2 court no kidding now, a lot of you guys might be asking, uh, Tysino, does Bailout, like, why do you have to put Bailout on Hall of Fame? Why can't I put it on Bronze, Silver, Gold? Well, the reason I put it on Hall of Fame is because I tried every tier, and the difference between each tier is the amount of bad catch animations that your center will get. See, look at that. Every single animation on Hall nice. of Fame is a clean catch. 
Your center won't stumble to catch the ball. He won't have a Appreciate slow start into his jump shot. He will have a clean, clean catch every single time you throw a bailout pass if you're on Hall of Fame. If you're on gold, it's pretty high percentage, but it's a lot of them still stumble. Silver, more passes stumble. Bronze, more stumble. And obviously, with no bailout at all, a, a good amount of passes will stumble and you can't use this efficiently no, okay by the way when i say stumble i mean uh, cause your center to stumble so when you throw the pass your center will catch the ball but he'll like move his feet awkwardly or stumble that is what doesn't happen when you do it on hall of fame you have to have bailout on to use this constantly like i do and to make it a consistent deadly weapon so i put on hall of fame because i want every single time i pass out to z i want it to be a clean catch and then the other team is just like oh my god what am i meant to do so yeah guys uh bailout hall of fame is obviously very suited to my play style i get into my shot animations the center starts sagging off and z gets wide open for bucket after bucket after bucket and uh yo i don't need to push this video too much longer but i do want to say something i want to say please if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it drop a like comment and subscribe i hope you guys have been enjoying gameplay with z i will also be playing with chico filo but he is currently on holiday in the philippines <laughs> so my two main centers will be a z and chico filo and i also have another center who i play with named chris zt all of them are very very good obviously you guys know they all have their ups and downs z is extremely comp chris is extremely comp and chico nice. he's very energetic but he's still learning he's getting there man he's getting there it's uh it's really fun to see him grow but uh yo and look at that bailout pass. Ooh, wee. <laughs> bailout Hall of Fame is what I use. I've been using this for the last few months. A lot of you guys noticed that, and you always ask me, like, yo, Tysino, why do you have bailout on, man? That badge is useless. And I thought I'd just give you a little idea, like a little rundown of how I use it and why I use it. It's all about that sensor dropping down for the rebound, man. So uh yo! Christmas is coming up soon. A lot of fun times ahead and a lot of videos ahead from your boy this month. So I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Good Hollywood. Peace. Out, live, love, and laugh. I love y'all, man. Take it easy. Uh, next up, great machine, great machine. All right. You ready? Show off that Hall of Fame bailout, ladies and gentlemen. He's a guard to shoot it. Stuff it. I bet you he won't contest it properly. Oh, shit. Shoot it, shoot it. <laughs>